Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into the AC voltage on the human body, in particular around these curly fluorescent lights. And we have two pieces of test equipment to do this. One is the digital multimeter, and it's going to read AC volts. And the other is the oscilloscope. So let's see what the oscilloscope's doing when I connect into the probe. So right there we have a uh, 60 hertz AC waveform and we're on 500 millivolts a division so it's about one volt peak to peak 60 hertz and you can see that the meter is actually recording 0.224 and uh, that's with our light switched off. Let's switch our fluorescent light on and see what happens. Okay, so a somewhat different waveform. The voltage has gone up to 0.543 volts, and we can see our sine wave is full of noise. So let's uh, let's see what happens when I approach the light bulb with my hand. So as you can see, the the sine wave gets very very high in proportion to the distance that you are from the light bulb. Now this oscilloscope has what's known as a fast Fourier transform function. So we're going to see what happens when we put the oscilloscope onto a fast Fourier transform and it should tell us the frequency content of the waveform. Okay, so right now we're on 250 hertz per division in the horizontal direction on a 20 decibel scale. And as we can see, there's a lot of frequency content there. And uh, we need to expand out the scale so that we can see what's actually going on. So I'm going to switch it up to 250 kilohertz per division in the horizontal direction. As you can see, there's a lot of spikes in there, particularly around this area, which is the 1 to 2 megahertz range. And also down at the low end of the range, the first 250 kilohertz, there's a lot of noise. So I'm going to switch it off, and we can see what happens when the light bulb is not on. So some of the frequency content has disappeared, and... Uh, Let's put the light bulb back on. So we can see that right in this area down here, there's additional frequencies that aren't there. So let's take a look at that. So that's in the first 250 kilohertz. Okay, so we're now on 25 kilohertz per division and we can see those frequency spikes that are there. So let's uh, switch the light bulb off and see what happens. So as you saw, some of the frequencies disappeared. Let's switch it back on. So this, this guy right here disappears when the light bulb is off and reappears when it's on. So let's expand out the scale some more. Okay, so this one right in the middle, and we can see that down at this end of the range, it increases as we approach the light bulb. So the, it's an interesting effect that these light bulbs have on the body frequency. So I'll switch it off and we can see what happens. So that hump has completely disappeared. And that hump is right around 50 kilohertz. So there's something in this light bulb that produces a 50 kilohertz range of frequencies into the human body. So I'm going to change this light bulb out to a conventional light bulb.
So we can see it has no effect on what was in the middle of the display. There's almost no frequency is getting induced onto the human body. So let's turn the maths function off. And let's see what our sine wave is doing. So there's our sine wave, so it looks quite different from the fluorescent one. And the only thing that happens is it increases the proportional height of the sine wave. And we can see that on the digital meter, as you approach the light bulb, the body voltage goes up. So there you have it, the conventional light bulbs don't appear to induce frequency effects into the human body, whereas the compact fluorescent light bulbs and typically all gas discharge lights, including mercury, sodium, and neon signs, will have the same effect as what these little light bulbs do. So uh, it's an interesting effect. It's documented as electromagnetic hypersensitivity and uh, more information on electromagnetic hypersensitivity can be found in my book called Toxic Health. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.